Hi guys, so today uh, I have another video but this video will be pretty short uh, It won't be as long as the previous one So today we'll be just discussing about whether there's a need to actually um, Like foil your deck or like bling out your deck um, So to, to, to answer this question, there really um, isn't a, a particular answer to it It really depends on what you want um, at at where you are right now. So, for example, if you really love a particular clan or a deck build or a particular character um, in any any clan, then I, I guess you can go for it. Um, to to you know buy those SPs um, to follow the deck um, and also in a way to <laughs> to show off uh, what. Or rather show them off to your friends but if you are a more i guess casual player or or you're new to the game you 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 do not know much about the game um, and still learning uh, i really don't suggest that you do that um, because when you're still new to the game you're still figuring out what uh what you like right so you wouldn't want to spend everything that you have on a particular deck uh, only to find out that you don't like it um, like the next day or the next week or even the next month right so um, so if you're new take, take some time to, to figure out you don't even need, have to buy any cards uh, all you have to do is uh, use online resources right you have carpet area you have tabletop simulator those platforms are places for you to test out what you really um, want to build and appreciate what you're actually playing so if you're starting off uh, not recommended at all to buy any SPs or to buy cards at all you know but if you're a more experienced player um, and you really want uh, to I guess show off or really or, or maybe as an investment right some people um, buy high rarity cards um, as a means of profit for investment in the future they might um, be worth more money right but I guess in terms of Vanguard more people buy uh, SPs to to basically full foil the deck to make it uh, in a way look nicer um, personally I kind of do that as well um, I think recently I uh, a few months back, I made a video about uh, about a, a meal that I received uh, from TCG Japan, which I bought, which I ordered online. So it contains uh, quite a bit of foil cards um, because I wanted to foil out my Barrel Magnus deck. So um, it isn't the cheapest thing to do, but um, it also boils down to what you're interested in, right? So. Yeah, uh, yeah, so it really depends on where you are um, in, in the game itself. Um, yeah, so maybe to kind of sum summarize, right? Uh, when you're starting off, not recommended to buy in even cards, not to mention SPs, or even like high rarity cards. But then if you're more experienced uh, and you want to show off to your friends or, you know, uh, buy it, buy as a means of collection. Then, yeah, you can you can go for it. Um, but other than that, I think uh, there really isn't much else. Uh, today's video will be pretty short. Um, I don't have much to show you guys as well. But um, maybe to 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 just elaborate a bit more. Recently, I bought um, I, I and I thought this was quite a good deal. I bought a gift marker for around eight dollars, and when I checked it online before I bought it, from uh, the from my locals, so when I checked it online, it was like sold out, and it was like one thousand eight hundred yen. So well, it was a really great deal. So I I, I bought it. Uh, I I think I can just show it to you guys. Um, I I put it together with my. B series deck um, over here. 
so it looks like this. Um, from what I heard, it's like a tournament exclusive, like post market. I'm not sure about that, but um, yeah, I got it for pretty cheap and. Yeah, so if you happen to find deals as well, I mean, these are good collectibles because um, they're not very common and, you know, it's good to have them um, if the if the price is right, right, you know. So, um, yeah, but uh, recently I also bought one SVR for not the cheapest, but at a particular fair, pro fair price, um, which is this, right? Um, I got this for like eight dollars, which is pretty standard. I think that's pretty standard um, for Canon SVR. I think yeah, it's SVR. So Canon SVR, uh, pretty standard price for eight dollars. Um, yeah. So because I've been playing, um, Bermuda's. Of melody for quite long. I thought you know it would be good for me to do a do a little bit of upgrade as well. So that's what I did. So another advice for you guys is that if you are starting off with a particular clan, you really want to get some cards. Do not buy uh SPs straight away because um, unless you are really sure that this is a clan that you want to be playing, um, but. Other than that, apart from that, you shouldn't be shouldn't be buying SPs. You should be just getting all the low rarity uh, cards first before you begin to uh, upgrade it in the future. So um, I think that's that's all the advice I have. Uh, I'll try uh, to keep this video less than ten minutes. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching.